Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here, back with another Debunking the Myth video. Now, in this video, we're talking grabbers. And it's not necessarily a myth per se, but it's more so of a debate about which grabber is faster. We're not using conveyor belts here because it's irrelevant to what we're doing because conveyor belts do push only, they don't do a pull. Grabbers do a pull action and a push action. Conveyors just do a push. So the ones we have a question are smart grabber, regular grabber, corner grabber. Now I've often said many times in my videos since the Halloween update and corner grabbers have been introduced that corner grabbers are faster. They have a, I use the word, they have a faster tick. Somebody says that's not exactly the right term to use, but that's the word I'm going to use because that's what it makes sense to me. The tick speed or the speed between it can grab something and push the next one is faster than a grabber or a smart grabber. So I have a couple different setups here, and, and what you're going to find after watching these is something very, very interesting. So the first ones we're going to do, actually, let's just turn, let's just turn these two off in a sense because this, this one we're going to do, because this the one down here with the prep stations gives you different results than this one does, which interests me. I don't necessarily have an explanation why, but um, what we'll do for the first little bit here is let's just remove these. Okay, we have three smart grabbers, grabbers to these, right? And let's just see once if we turn this on, what's faster? So far, corner grabbers are faster. It looks like a smart grabber faster and significantly, isn't it? So let's watch it one more time because it was pretty quick, wasn't it? Let's go in, kind of practice mode and do one more time. Keep her on the last grabber. That's where we're going to be sitting at. Boom, 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 boom. So there, what's faster there? Interesting yet again, right? Let's just do, let's make it uh, a little bit bigger here. Let's just see what's faster here. Because, okay, ready? Let's start this one up. As you can see, the corner grabbers come out to quite a lead, followed by the smart grabbers. And it's interesting if you start watching in the middle of the screen, there's nothing consistent at all. Smart grabbers are faster than their than the regular grabbers, corner grabbers. Look, 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 and look there. The smart grabbers are actually faster. Then it goes corner grabbers, and then it goes regular grabbers. And the funny thing with that, honestly, guys, is I ran this test literally before I recorded this, and the corner grabbers won hands down every single time. So, let's run it one more time just to, just to watch. Because it interests me a lot that that's happening. Because right now the corner grabbers are ahead, followed by the small grabbers, followed by the regular grabbers. Corner grabbers are still ahead, but look at the top. Because of the way that the small grabbers are pulling, they're almost pulling two at a time in a sense. Look at that. Small grabbers are filled up and the bottom two are basically the same. It's very, very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Now, let's leave practice mode. Now, let's set up the test at the bottom. So basically, it's pretty definitive that smart grabbers are faster than any other grabber in a straight line like this. Now, what happens if you have a bunch of prep stations? You say, well, why would you use this? Well, I know when I do like my bread runs or sometimes pie runs, you have more than one prep station linked together. So that way you have a backup of more than say four, four items. So let's stand over here and just keep your eye. I'll run it a few times. And this, this is this is one's a little bit more interesting, right? So you see how it's working. So far, the corner grabber is ahead, and now the corner grabber is getting significantly ahead. The other two grabbers are pretty much neck and neck. It looks like the regular grabber is actually slightly ahead. If you're looking at the last prep station all the way on the right, that's where I'm looking at because that's what's going to fill up last. Look at that. Okay, corner grabber's done. Still pretty neck and neck. The regular grabbers are pulling ahead a little bit, but look what happens now. Now the smart grabbers are ahead. The smart grabbers are ahead. But look, now they're not. It's so interesting how this is working. But basically the way if, with this setup is it goes corner grabber, regular grabber, smart grabber. And early on, as you saw, we're going to run it one more time just so we can watch it go. And uh, yeah, you, you can make your own kind of thoughts here. Let's just see where we get to. Once we get the third prep station filled, let's just take a quick note to see. Like, I'm not touching anything. You know, this is a normal. I'm not. These aren't uh, special grabbers. 
The corner grabber is significantly ahead, filling up the prep stations first. But the smart grabber and the regular grabber alternate. Right now, it's smart grabbers ahead slightly. The corner grabber is always going to be ahead when it comes to this type of thing. Look how far ahead the smart grabber is. Now it's not ahead. Now it comes right back. It's so. <laughs> I, I've done this a thousand times. I find this so interesting. Because when you have prep stations set up, the corner grabber is still faster. But then the regular grabber is faster than the smart grabber. Why is that? Honestly, I don't know. The prep stations are all facing the same way. It's just a very, very interesting thing to me that I wanted to share with all of you. Let's run this one one more time. The bottom one, obviously, is, it goes corner grabber, smart, regular grabber, smart grabber. Here, if you're looking, until the smart grabbers start pulling two, just watch, there it starts pulling two. That's where the smart grabbers pull ahead because every other one is pulling two. If that makes sense to you, which it probably doesn't. It actually appears, it actually appears that it does it one time. Watch closely, roughly where I'm standing. This one's gonna, it's, there's gonna be a, a tick where there's like a double tick where there's two of them bunch up together. But look, now the middle one's doing it. Now they're back in sync again. This, this um, bewilders me, to be honest with you, because now the corner grabber's faster. But look, now it's not. Now the corner grabber's slower. So <laughs> the, the fun with this, guys, the fun with this is it makes no sense. It makes no sense to me which is faster. No sense at all. I mean, I think you could, I don't know. It's just so interesting. Because there you see how the corner, the middle, the middle grabber pulled a double. So almost what happened is one got pulled out of the bin before the other one finished its like cycle, if you will. And here the corner grabber was last again. The other two were kind of neck and neck. So what this all means, I don't know what it means. It pretty much means that in in a long stretch like this, different ones are faster depending on depending on the scenario. Now, will you ever have this many things lined up at once? No, you won't. But the point is you need to have a long test for this to have an actual test. Practice for one more time. You look at the top section, the bottom section, whatever one you like. See, at the see all the way at the top there, see the smart grabber pulled that double. See how it's pulled out like two at one time? It's just a weird how it's set up like that. It's just so interesting. At the bottom, the, smart, the corner grabbers are pulling way ahead at the start. They're still ahead, still ahead, still ahead. This is at the bottom now. Smart grabbers, or excuse me, the corner grabbers are ahead. They're significantly ahead. And as you see, this, the corner grabbers at the bottom are now faster. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. If it has something to do with the entities on the screen, I have a pretty fast computer. So here, the test we just did there shows that the corner grabbers are faster when you're linking prep stations together. So guys, what did we learn from this? We've learned that there is no right answer. In the beginning of the video, I said that I believe that the corner grabbers are faster. Maybe if you're doing, you know, one one thing not in the line, they are faster. But based on this test, it's a toss-up because depending on what other entities, depending on how the game, how the game runs and how the things grab, last test, it changes things. And I don't understand it to be honest with you. It's just the way it is. At the top of the screen, look, they're all even now. There hasn't been one of those double grabs yet. And here, if you look at the top of the screen, the top screen, corner grabbers here are significantly faster. But boom, right at the end, they're not faster. So it all ha it has to do, this may be in the coding, it has to do with how grabbers register an item on the belt and if there can be some discrepancy to that. Because look at the bottom screen. Bottom screen showing, boom, corner grabbers faster, then smart grabber, then regular grabber. If you remember when we did separate tests, that wasn't the case. 
So in conclusion, I have no idea which one's faster. I have no idea. And it kind of stumps me why when you run different tests, you get different results. You know what? It doesn't matter because this is another debunking a myth of certain grabbers being faster than others. And in conclusion, that's not the case at all when you have scenarios like this. Maybe you'd have a bunch of twisting ones or something it would pull differently. I don't know. The last test we could actually do is we could go into practice mode. We could do this test. I'm just going to turn all these. Oh, not that one. That one has to say. Watch. So let's go into this. Oops, sorry. Let's go out of this. We're going to do one more test. One more test. If ha does having corner grabbers facing downwards make them faster? And the answer is yes, significantly. Look at that. There's no gaps, except when you get to the end. So in conclusion, with this setup, that's full already, significantly faster. So definitively, corner grabbers are faster if you're using them as a corner or straight. Is it because they're only considered half a block then because you're not going that full way? I don't know because when they hit here, if you remember, it takes longer than if it goes between these two. Is there an explanation? No. Don't know. I'll still stick by my original thing. If you guys watch this to the end, thank you. I will still stick by my original thing that corner grabbers are faster if they're used in the right scenario like this. They're significantly faster than any other one. I think it's because of how small they are even though it takes up one full block. I don't know. You guys feel free in the comments to leave your own speculations about why, or if you guys are a coder, why you think this is or why it works this way. I have no idea. I find it very interesting and it's a very good thing to test out. And I'm going to have a lot more of these debunking, I'm going to call them debunking the myths video series. If you have a question or a myth that you want or a way of doing something that you haven't seen yet, please leave it in the comments or reach out to me on Discord. I'm always up for trying new tricks of the trade to see what is faster, what is slower, what makes most sense. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're enjoying this content, please consider leaving a subscribe to my channel. It would really be helpful. Also, if you enjoy this video or the video in this series, please consider leaving it a like as well as a comment. I read every single comment I get and respond to every single comment I get as well, either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a personalized comment right back at you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you next time in another Debunking the Myths Played Up video. Take care now.